All right, guys, we are out at Road America today, driving a bunch of different cars at the Mama Fall Rally. Let's walk you around this Raptor, show you what it looks like inside and out. We'll take you for a quick drive and uh, hopefully kind of get an idea of what this thing is like behind the wheel. Love this orange. We've got a graphics package, awesome looking wheels. I mean, Ford really did a proper job designing this new Raptor. It's a great evolution of the previous two generations. We still have all the funky features and options in the bed that we do in the normal F-150. We've got this ruler uh, so you can measure things and then a uh, little place here to put clamps. This pops out to give you a step. And of course we've got a nice factory bed liner here. We even get an automatically lifting tailgate. Look at that, you don't have to expend any effort lifting the tailgate in your Raptor anymore. An absolutely cavernous interior. Nice handle to get you up into this super lifted truck. Lots of leg room. I can stretch out back here like nobody's business. This is this is bordering on luxury vehicle levels of space. We've got heated rear seats, more charging solutions with a plug outlet, a couple of USB ports, type A, a C, a cigarette lighter port, an armrest. I like these Alcantara inserts right here. Very cool. We have a Bang & Olufsen sound system. Two high, four high, four automatic, and four low, along with a smattering of drive modes. This F-150 Raptor is rated for 16 miles to the gallon combined, and has five link rear suspension, dual exhaust, a 36 gallon fuel tank. We'll list some features and specs in the description, but what you need to know about this one is it is painted in code orange metallic. It starts at $64,000. It's got a few options maxing out at 78,545. 17 inch forged alloy wheels, carbon fiber package, exterior graphics package. This new Raptor makes 450 horsepower from the twin turbo 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. There it is with a Ford Performance engine cover, massive air box, engine set pretty far over the front axle and slightly behind, which is great. Nice weight distribution for whatever that's worth. All right, let's go take this thing for a drive. It is a beast. It's so massive, such a large footprint on the road. And the rest in here is just new F-150, which is never a bad place to be. We have our folding shifter, massive touchscreen infotainment. Pretty nice looking reverse and 360 cameras. And we have a bunch of different drive modes. We're in sport, there's tow haul, slippery, normal, deep snow, sand, Baja, and rock crawl. And it was nice when I, before we started this video, I had it in sport mode, turned the truck off, and when I turned the truck on, it asked me if I wanted to return to sport mode. And then look at this, we have 553 miles of fuel range with this 36 gallon fuel tank. That's pretty awesome. At 16 miles to the gallon, you're gonna need all the fuel you can get. For how long this truck is too, decent turning radius. That's a relief. I've always really loved driving Raptors. I think they're some of the most fun trucks you can get the way the suspension reacts over bumps, just driving around normally makes you feel like you're in a really special truck, almost like a Baja vehicle. There's some little details in this thing that truly make it special. Power feels awesome. And I love this little orange insert above the steering wheel showing you your center line just like a race truck would have super responsive paddles of course we have Ford's 10 speed in this new Raptor I gotta say this new 
2021 Raptor sounds better than the previous generation did. It has more of a V6 growl to it. it. Sounds more like a traditional twin turbo V6 instead of whatever the last one sounded like. I love these paddle shifters. <laughs> Just get a small hint of turbo boost when you dip into the throttle. And so far on this drive, this 10 speed has been really nice. Very quick, very responsive, very smooth. Ford has struggled with their 10 speed tuning in the past. And upon first impressions, this is very good. It held my gear there, letting the engine ride out that torque. This is very nice, you guys. This is a very good new Raptor. Really, the only thing that has turned me off from these trucks is just their sheer size. They're just so massive that they can be a little bit impractical sometimes. But if you have a smaller vehicle, the driving experience from one of these things can kind of make up for that. I've always wished they would put this package into the Ranger and we would actually get the Ranger Raptor here in the States. Maybe we will at some point, but until then, what a package, what a machine. It even handles well. The suspension tuning here is really pretty amazing. We just drove a Ram T-Rex a few months ago, and on road, this feels a little bit better, not as wallowy. <laughs> Super well controlled over that railroad track. We have a little bit more power than we did in the previous gen. Still, for how much this thing weighs, 450 horsepower doesn't go as much as you think it would. It doesn't feel as quick as the TRX. I mean, this is 30 grand less than the Ram TRX, so I'm not complaining with that. I love this 10 speed too. Ford's done a really good job figuring that out. Close ratio gear spacing from this 10 speed really does make you feel like you're in kind of a race truck. Sport mode isn't too harsh or stiff. Let's put us into normal, see what that changes. This digital gauge cluster has always been a little bit funky in the new F-150, showing you a digital readout of your RPM. It definitely makes things clear. You don't really have any guesswork knowing what's in front of you. The rest of this interior seems pretty user-friendly too. A lot of physical controls, a lot of buttons. I'm not really the biggest guy and I feel like I'm swimming in this a little bit, but I'm very comfortable in these seats. I have a nice driving position, a lot of adjustability with the steering wheel. Great visibility. I am towering over literally everyone else on the road. This is fun. This is so much fun. And for just being in rear-wheel drive, it's putting its power down pretty well, too, on these BFG KO2s. Yeah, really good first impressions on this new Raptor, you guys. This is a fun truck. Can't wait to get this off-road. Can't wait to spend a little bit more time in this. There's just so much personality here, so much character, and uh, I've been smiling this whole drive. <laughs> a lot of customization, a lot of uh, settings that you can tailor to your own preferences in this Raptor. 
just like the F-150, I mean, you know, you've got a lot of great features, a lot of functionality in this new truck. Fantastic sound system with this B&O. You've got your whole work table situation here where you fold down the shifter when you're in park and you can make your Raptor the work truck also. Let's park this thing and we'll wrap up this video here. Well, it drives as cool and as well as it looks. Pretty special stuff from Ford. Uh, glad to see that this new Raptor is just a nice evolution and a nice continuation of the Raptor nameplate. Um, I'm really quite surprised at how good this 10-speed is upon first impressions. That is always something that Ford has kind of, I felt, uh, hasn't quite finished their development on, and this feels fantastic. Not a hiccup, not, a, not an issue with it in this drive. Of course, we'll spend some more time with this truck and really evaluate it, but upon first impressions, top marks, well done Ford. Um, what a cool thing to behold. <laughs> and also in this orange too, you just can't go wrong. I really do like the design of this new Raptor the slightly more slender grille and rear end makes this seem even wider than it is. Very, very cool. What are what size are these KO2s? 3, 31570 R17. So are these 35s? I think they are. They look like 35s. Oh, what a monster. All right. That's really it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Take care.